Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm gonna show you and demonstrate to you this topology, specifically the auto bypass link. So as you can see here in my topology, I have one router my NAT router, LibreQ a server in between, then network switch, then clients. There is no access concentrator, only one router. If your LibreQ server is down, then this auto bypass link will trigger automatically this is important to prevent total downtime in your network in case your LibreQ server goes down this is a different configuration compared to the previous video that I have Uploaded. I will now simulate. This is the router for the site, client site. Still, the LibreQS is the one doing the traffic shaping and bandwidth limit. This is the client router. So as you can see, it has a maximum speed and minimum speed. But with limit is still 5 Mbps. I will simulate now that the server goes down. The server now is down. So this auto bypass link will now activate. Alright, as you can see, it still have internet. When we go to speed test, it will have no more bandwidth limit because our server is down. Therefore, there are there is no bandwidth limit in your client, but still good compared to a total downtime in case this scenario happened in the middle of the night and there are, there is no one who can resolve the issue then this will help temporarily having no limit, no bandwidth limit to your clients. Right, as what you can see, still have internet. And we will simulate that if your LibreQS goes online again, Then the bandwidth limit will be running also. 
Let's try to do speed test. As much you can see, the bandwidth limit now is working. Interested in this kind of setup? You can reach me in my Facebook for our LibreQS online workshop. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please also hit that notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos. Bye for now and have a nice day.